Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. Okay. 
We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Welcome to Europa.
the base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours.
So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflict. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflict. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here.
What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here, for their whole lifetimes.
My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here, when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to my cell. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally. As any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission.
Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, 
because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses. The person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned.
Maybe. Might have been. You can't prove anything. Huh. Apparently it was. I wonder if the organism must have evolved such a high resistance to radiation as a necessity of survival. Shut up, Nick! <laughs> that said, the radiation beneath the immaculate is much lower due to the thick ice crust. Radiation experiments with flow cytometry. Is that a C or is that meant to be... No, that's not symmetry. Uh, sound like an appropriate course of action. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, Matthew. We have attached an image confirming that organism 119 attaches to human cells. We will proceed with radiation experiments on these cell lines. We propose naming organism 119 Europa Radiophilus. What do you think? Uh, we have now run blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's just... I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. First, my mic is muted. Then this frickin' happens. In my defense of the mic being muted, it used to be right underneath the desktop audio one. But now, it's been moved below it. No, I can't move them. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Man, the space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, what is that? the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believe all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than I mean, that's fair. into space. I thought I was speaking, so... Ah. Oh. Wait, the cube was on this side. Why would... Yeah. Ooh, on it, sweet. Oh. Wait, what? Huh. <sighs> ah, I see what I need to do. Okay. Yeah, you'll see. Oops. You'll see why in a second. Ah. It's because it's on a pressure plate, and when my brain actually works, and I do this. It opens this door, so I can do that. And leave. Scans me. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. 
as the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 33 light minutes. <laughs> it takes a very long time for yeah. Earth to communicate with Europa. Due yeah. to that distance, <coughs> teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? <coughs> why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. Oops. Ah, I see what's happening. I need to go up. <coughs> and then go bam. Follow by bam. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. Okay, yeah, that was stupid. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Ooh. Wait a minute. That's not gonna work. Hello. Hello. Thank you. That's all good. Aha! Yep. That. Wait. No. Yes. No. No. Ooh. Now I've got to think. Let's go both. <clears throat> I've got it! Yep, got it. Worked it out. I'm smart. Don't break. That would be really bad right now. Be smart. Put it there. Then do that. And that. What? What could be fun, Nick? Do I really want to know? I'm not sure. Ah, 
Ah, you dick! No. No, we're not playing Town of Salem. This time. This time Bailey's being smart. Well, Nick, there's a little thing called everyone would know my role. Especially you. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. People can lie next to the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. What do you want me to do, game? Ah, oh, hold on. If I do... If I, ah, yep, it's one of those. Still, no. Not today. Maybe some other time. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those what organisms there? that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent will happily create morally suboptimal ideas really? to fulfill its creative ah, mandate. Is we see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Oh wait, I, I just get to do that. Restricted? Do you think you could be creative? 
As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a created? But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Ooh, I gotta time this. There. No! Oh, ah! Tom, why are you purple? Oh, hey, I got one of these. Oops. Need that back. <coughs> Tom, that's not fair. That's not fair, Tom. You sit me up. Ah, I see what I must do. <laughs> Those last two are time perfectly. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window? Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Ah, oh, now I see what I need to do. Yeah, I see what you want. Bam. an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us.
Now what do I do? Oh, right. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on New Roadwork, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. No, what does that one do? Now I'm lost. That one. Okay. I'm going to leave the stream here. Because well, I can't be bothered doing this one. But I am a human. I proved it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't already, make sure to follow me here on Twitch and also the socials down here. Again, thank you for watching. Remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. Never ever regret yourself. And I'll see you when I see you.